Hey there, everybody. So I have another HelloFresh box. Um, this time we're going to be doing the seared steak and crispy potato salad with tomatoes, green beans, and shallot pan sauce. So it looks pretty, pretty yummy. Um, here are all the ingredients. It tells you how long it's going to take to prepare the meal. Um, everything is in the box except for maybe some salt and pepper or some olive oil. So um, that is the end result right there. Yummy, yummy. And let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do, and it tells you step by step what you need to do. We're going to preheat the oven for 375 degrees. And then we're going to go ahead and cut the potatoes into little cubes. Now if you haven't tried or don't know anything about HelloFresh, they do come with a card. And the card tells you exactly what you need to do step by step. So don't worry about it. If you're not an expert cook, believe me, I'm not either. And you're going to come out with a great looking meal if you follow the steps. All right, so we're going to go ahead and boil these potatoes because um, we're going to cook them through. And then we're going to salt up the water and then just leave it off to the side. I think it's really important to make sure that you know that you're going to put the potatoes into cold water and not already boiling water. Next we're going to take the tomatoes and um, I just cut mine into half this way just because it was easier for me and I like them a little bit smaller. So I went ahead and cut them into these smaller sizes this way versus the long ways. And then next we're going to go ahead and put those off to the side. Now we're going to grab the green beans that they gave. I just kind of wanted to trim them up and um, I cut off or picked off the ends on either side and then I'll cut them into pretty much right into half because I felt like that was a good size for me. So after we cut them in half I'm just going to place them to the side for a couple of seconds and then I'm going to take the oregano leaves that we have here um, so far, I've had, I haven't had a problem with my vegetables and herbs being rancid or spoiled, so I've been pretty lucky. But I'm going to go ahead and take these oregano leaves, and you just can hold them um, from the opposite end and kind of peel them right off the stem. It comes off really, really easily. And then I'll go ahead and chop them up very finely, and then I'm going to put those off to the side as well. I have been really, really loving the HelloFresh. I feel like I'm a super chef in my kitchen. If you check out my Instagram, you'll see all the dishes that I've made so far, and they come out looking stunning. All right, moving on. Let's keep going. We got the shallot that they put in the box. I'm going to go ahead and just peel the shallot and then finely mince it with my humongous knife that I have there. Um, the way I do it, I know I cut um, my veggies up a little strangely, um, but this is just the way that I've always done it. So I'm just going to slice them up into little slivers. Um, I just kind of use my finger there just to keep them in place. Um, so we're going to go ahead and mince up both sides of the shallot, and then we're going to stick those off to the side as well. So we're just prepping everything as we go along um, for now, just following the directions that they give. Is it burning? Yeah. Those shallots burned my eyes so badly. All right, moving on to garlic. We're going to go ahead and take the garlic. It says you can finally mince it, but I have a garlic press. I would definitely recommend you investing into a garlic press if you cook a lot or you plan on cooking a lot. Yeah. This is such a time saver. And it saves your fingers, it saves everything. It's so awesome. You just, you can put it in there with the skin or without the skin. These came without the skin, so even better. But you just squeeze it right in there and you have instant minced chopped up garlic uh, ready to go for anything that you want. It's great for bread too, by the way. Okay, I'm just taking this olive oil I got in one of my Try the World boxes. It came from Israel. I don't know how it's any different from any other, but it's, you know, it's olive oil. It's good. Okay, so we're taking the olive oil, and we're just going to go ahead and kind of stir fry the green beans. Um, we're going to add the tomatoes in here in a little bit. Um, so I'm just adding it to a hot pan. I'm tossing it around. You want it to get a little bit of 
little burn bits on it. At least that's the way that I liked them. I think they taste yummy. Um, yeah, you saw the potatoes back there boiling. They're almost ready to come out. We're going to add some salt and pepper to the green beans. And you just keep adding, you know, layers of flavor as you cook along. Um, and again, you just follow the directions and you can't go wrong. All right, so tossing in my tomatoes. And you know what? I normally don't like tomatoes like this, but this dish was so delicious. It totally changes my views on meals and how to prep them and, and everything and how to put things together. All right, moving on while that's cooking, we're going to go ahead and season up the steak that they've given with only salt and pepper. Basically, that's it. Um, we're going to use a little bit of olive oil with it, but basically it was only salt and pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on both sides just so that we can make sure that we're going to season up everything all over so we have tastiness all the way around. All right, so now that my veggies are all nice and crispy there, not really crispy, but you can see all little nice brown bits all over it, we're going to take that out and just put it on a plate for a few minutes and just hold it off to the side. And we're gonna take the same pan, add a little bit more olive oil, and we're gonna go ahead and sear this steak in the pan. And it says here that um, you should just go ahead and put it in the pan for three to four minutes per side until it's golden brown. And then afterwards, after we do this for a few minutes on both sides, I was using my um, timer on my microwave to make sure that I was cooking everything up exactly as they said because I really like to try to do it exactly how they give the directions to see if it works out you know just as directed so while that's cooking up I'm gonna go ahead and drain off my potatoes um, I did kind of overcook the potatoes a little tiny bit I kind of forgot about them to be honest with you but um, I had so many things going on uh, but it did end up working out so I'm draining out the potatoes letting them dry out just a tad bit because they were kind of mushy flipping these over um, and we're going to do a few more minutes on the other side. Once these are all done we're going to take them out of the pan and then we're going to stick them onto a, um, a baking sheet with that preheated oven. Stick it into the oven I think it what is it about um, five to seven minutes or something like that and while that's cooking we're going to go ahead and um, do the potatoes now. Added just a little bit of olive oil to that and you can see they were kind of falling apart so it's supposed to be crispy potatoes but again I kind of overcooked them just a tad bit all right so we're gonna of course season salt and pepper a lot of the seasoning here is just salt and pepper um, and then we're gonna add that minced garlic the oregano and we're going to toss everything together very gently since I overcooked the potatoes. But I promise it will still all work out in the end. You just have to kind of compromise with yourself and just go for it, even if you're not sure. All right, so since these are all tossed together, we're going to go ahead and add in the other veggies back into the pan. And again, very carefully tossing up these potatoes. The potatoes are supposed to be crispy and browned before you add the other veggies in. So I did cook them up for a few minutes. All right, tossing in the green beans and the tomatoes. It already looks so yummy, so delicious. I was so impressed with the way that this came out. Um, yeah, you saw me shaking up that pan like a pro. All right, so I'm just tossing everything together to make sure everything gets the garlic, everything gets the oregano, and it's all seasoned up very nicely together. So I'm going to go ahead and take all the vegetables out and just put them onto another plate um, and keep those off to the side. I have to go back and I'm going to go ahead and make the sauce now. Um, we're going to add a little olive oil. The shallots are going into the pan. Um, all the little bits on the bottom from the steak and from the veggies. That's all good stuff in there. It's going to give lots and lots of additional flavor. We're going to go ahead and um, add the stock concentrate that came in the box. Um, and 
After that, add a little bit of water to it, and we're just going to cook this stuff up here. And I'm just taking a little spoon. It says to take a wooden spoon, but this is a little plastic spoon thingy that I got from Ikea. Love Ikea, by the way. And um, just scrape up the bottom of the pan. Let it cook down a little tiny bit. We're going to add some salt and pepper. Um, and just wait for this to get thickened. So while that's thickening up, I'm going to go ahead and take out my steaks from the oven. These were pretty big size steaks, by the way. Um, I did let it set for a few minutes, and then I'm going to go ahead and slice it, just like the picture showed. So um, I'm doing my best here, guys. Doing my best. So yeah, I have this humongous meat cleaver. I figured, why not be fancy and use a meat cleaver, right? Um, yeah, I should have just used uh, another knife. I was just trying to be all fancy schmancy. Since I had this, I figured I'd use it. But um, anyway, so go ahead and slice it up just like you saw in the, the initial picture that it shows you. And it says to slice it against the green. Um, and then you're going to serve it with the warm potato salad. And we're going to drizzle it up with the shallot pan sauce. So doesn't that look so nice and colorful? It looks like a great meal for Christmas. All right, and let me tell you, there's tons of food in here. This particular box that I get, I get it for two people, um, but it's way more than enough for more than two people. Um, so I'm just plating this up. Um, I'm trying to make it look really, really pretty because um, I'm trying to compare with uh, the picture that they've given. So um, there we go, we're adding the shallot pan sauce and it just makes it look all yummy and glazed up and delicious. And let no me tell way. you, you can't it was anything. really, really yummy. I was really impressed. Not gonna happen. I don't normally like tomatoes, but let's see. Mmm, they're actually yummy. So if you're interested in HelloFresh, I'll have all the information linked down below. It is normally $69. You can get $40 off with the code that I'll provide down below. Um, that'll make it $29 for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, be on the lookout for more HelloFresh videos. Bye.